What's going on guys, Tactical Humor here, and today we have a wonderful video that you guys are going to absolutely love. This video is partnered with Showzone, and it is going to be how to complete a showdown. How are we going to do that? Well, there's extreme showdowns, there's regular showdowns. The beauty of this method, it will work with absolutely any showdown. And if you struggle with them, this is here for you. If you're coming over from the TA video, you already know that this is incredibly important to getting team affinity done quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop right into it. We're going to start our draft and we're going to show you what cards to pick. And then we'll do some gameplay to show you how to actually make the method work. So basically for the draft, you're going to be looking for speed, then swing, then switch hitters. So here we're looking at 83 speed 75 speed we know greg vaughn doesn't have good speed we're going to take emmanuel rodriguez next up we have an interesting choice because we can take 83 speed who's a switch hitter we can take 90 speed or we can take 80 speed so i'm going to take 90 speed just to put it out there that you want the speed badly um here i'm going to just go for a guy with a good swing don't really care about the speed on him because I'm going to be swinging the bat with him. Here, the obvious pick is Rafaela just because he's got 88 speed. The rest of those cards do not have that high speed. Here, 87 speed with Tony Gwynn. We'll take that. We'll throw him in the lineup. He's going to help. Here, again, there's nothing great. I don't want to take anyone too, too slow. I like Charlie Blackman. We're going to take him, throw him in. Here, awesome. We got Ricky Anderson. That's beautiful. We want that. We need that. That's great. Again, here, Tyler O'Neill, 74 speed. Jimenez is 86 speed, so we are going to take him. Next up, I believe Gunner is faster than Nico. Yes, he is with 80 speed, so we're going to take Gunner. And then, so for the perks, if you get them, great. If not, not the end of the world, but we do like to have them. Take the bun cheese one, the gold one. When you eventually get the diamond one, take the diamond one. And then you're looking for exit velocity. Unfortunately, we didn't get the seventh inning or later here. So we'll go ahead and take exit velocity in two straight counts, which will help because if our first two bunts don't land or go foul, we have to swing the bat. So that works. So now we're going to build our order. And we're going to actually first look at who they gave us on the bench and stuff. Remember, you can put them out of position. It does not matter. Um, we're looking for speed. So anyone with really good speed, we can throw on our bench. Obviously, this card is 75, 78, 92. We're going to want to put Greg Jones there. And then there's 85, so we'll put him there. And then that's more than enough cards with good speed. Obviously, you're starting pitching in bullpen does not matter. So now we're going to figure out how we want to lead it off. So I'm going to start Ricky Henderson just because he's Ricky Henderson. He feels like he needs to be there. Um, and then I'm going to kind of rotate between bunting and swinging. Um, most of our cards can swing the bat as well as bunt. But... Uh, having them staggered helps too so now we're gonna hop into the first game we're gonna get some gameplay for you and we're going to show you how to get this kind of stuff done meyer in this showdown they will be allowed 18 hours. so they're not going to give us a <laughs> good pitch to bunk there we're going to try it one more time you're going to want to put your analog stick to the right see that's a perfect button we're on and now the process starts, we're just going to continue to do this. So now Ricky's on first, we're going to want to steal, avoid the double play. Do not swing the bat, don't touch anything, you might double play. You're going to get in there about 99% of the time with 90 plus speed. It's good enough. Now you can take the decision if you want to bunt or swing. I'm personally just going to bunt again. It's going to be close, but I think we're going to be on. Yes, we are. So now, now we're just going to keep bunting that gets one run across not a big deal that he's out at least it scores the run see we should be on he only has 86 speed but it still works we're still gonna steal runner, runner, runner. 
we're in there with even less speed that time. Not a big deal. Make sure you get your slides in. Now we're going to bump with Ricky. Hopefully get on. Fun over. We're in. We're all good. We've got to the final showdown. Congratulations. Some of you may have been here before. Some of you may have never been here before. But this method has got you here. You're not going to change anything. You have 20 outs to work with against a reliever. If you were struggling badly to get on, it's okay to take it till two strikes and then maybe contact swing. Whatever, you have 20, I think it's 20 outs to work with, and you're facing a reliever. He will be out of energy by 40 pitches. So take until two strikes if you have to. Doing this method, you shouldn't need to. You're going to be able to get on bunting. Doesn't matter. You'll be fine. But keep it up. So you finished the final showdown. Congratulations. This method will work for any showdown you run into. It's awesome. Makes everything super easy from the extreme program to just a random TA program to any other program that has a showdown in it. So hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you guys. If you've been struggling with showdowns, I think it will. Once again, go check out Showzone. They're absolutely amazing. They have wonderful tools and uh, I think you'll love them. So thanks guys. Take care. Cheers.